In this video, we're going to be looking at how to use the multinomial theorem to find coefficients. And the way we're going to do that is to answer this question here, where we have an expansion 1 minus 2x add x squared to the power of 6, and we have to find the coefficient of x to the power of 6. Okay, now before we uh, go into using the multinomial theorem, if you were fortunate enough to get this question in the exam, there is actually a quick way of doing it, because 1 minus... 2x add x squared is, of course, 1 minus x squared. And so, therefore, this becomes 1 minus x to the power of 12. And then we all we need to do is find the coefficient of x to the 6 in there using the general term of binomial expansion. And the general term of a binomial expansion is 12cr 1 to the r minus x to the 12 minus r, which we also write as 12 factorial over r factorial 12 minus r factorial 1 to the r minus x to the 12 minus r and then simply putting x uh, sorry r equals 6 into that gives us our x to the 6 is equal to 12 factorial over 6 factorial 6 factorial 1 to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 12 minus 6 which is x to the 6 which equals 924 so the answer is 924. Now, obviously, if this was a multiple choice and you could do it this quick way, do it this way. But the thing is, if this was different, let's say, for example, it was three or four or, or whatever, and we didn't have this quick route, we'd have to use the multinomial theorem. Um, uh, so it's well worth getting to grips with. Now, before we advance, it's actually worth doing the binomial theorem in this form here rather than in the NCR method. And the reason why is because if you get used to this on the binomial theorem, then the multinomial expansion becomes very natural. Because if we look at the multinomial theorem, so let's just get a little bit of space here. So we have uh, 1 minus 2x add x squared to the power of 6. Okay, now the multinomial theorem says that the general term of this is 6 factorial, which is the power, over a factorial, b factorial, c factorial, 1 to the power of a times by minus 2x to the power of b times by x squared to the power of c, which is the three parts of this expression here. And you can see the similarity between this and this. Basically, that is the two-component version, and this here is the three or the multi-component version. And the only thing... Um, here that the multinomial theorem also says is it says that a plus b plus c must equal 6 because that is the, the power. It also says that a, b and c are integers and it also says that a, b and c are greater than or equal to 0. Okay, now let's go back to this general term here. That simplifies to 6 factorial over a factorial, b factorial, c factorial, 1 to the a minus 2 to the b times x to the b times x to the 2c. And that simplifies further to 6 factorial over a factorial, b factorial, c factorial, 1 to the a minus 2 to the b x to the b plus 2c. And this is how we will always do it, is we will end up getting all of the x's at the end, and then what we can do is we can say, right, well, we know that a plus b plus c has got to equal 6 because of the multinomial theorem we're raising to the power of 6. And we can also say, if we're looking for the coefficient of x to the 6, then we know that b plus 2c must equal 6 as well. So we have these two criteria, b plus 2c has got to be equal to 6, and a plus b plus c has also got to be equal to to 6, and we know that a, b, and c have got to be greater than or equal to 0, and that they're integers. So what we can do is we can draw ourselves a little table here of all of the possible values. So let's start with c. Now, if c was 0, then basically by this first equation here, b would have to be 6, and therefore by the second equation, a would have to be 0. That's one possibility. If c was 1, then by the first equation, b would have to be 4, and a would have to be 1 by the second equation. If c was 2, then b would have to be 2 by the first equation, and a would have to be 2 by the second equation. And finally, if c was 3, then b would have to be 0 by the first equation, and a would have to be 3 by the second equation. So they are the four possible values of a, b, and c. And what we do is we plonk each one of those into this, which is our general uh, 
form for the uh, each term and then we add all four of them up okay so now let's try and keep it in there if we possibly can okay so a equals zero let's try a equals zero b equals six and c equals zero first well that would give us so a equals equals zero b equals six and c equals zero all we've got to do is put them into there that gives us six factorial over zero factorial six factorial zero factorial 1 to the power of 0, minus 2 to the power of 6, x to the b plus 2c. Well, we know that will be 6 in all of them because that was one of the criteria up here. So that's the first possible way of getting x to the 6. And all of this lot here comes to 64, so that equals 64 x to the 6. OK, now let's go to the second line. We've got a equals 1, b equals 4, and c equals 1. Well, again, sticking it into our general term we got 6 factorial over 1 factorial 4 factorial 1 factorial 1 to the power of 1 minus 2 to the power of 4 x to the power of 6 and that equals uh, 30 times 16 x to the 6 which is 480 x to the 6 so, let's just, so there's the first one 64 x to the 6 there's the second one 480 x to the 6 and remember we're going to sum all of these up now the third one we have a b and c are all 2 so a equals 2 b equals 2 and c equals 2 we have 6 factorial over 2 factorial 2 factorial 2 factorial 1 squared minus 2 squared x to the 6 which equals uh 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times minus 2 squared is 4 over 2 times 2, which equals uh, 360 x to the power of 6. Yep, that's correct. So that's the next one. And then finally, we have a equals 3, b equals 0, and c equals 3. a equals 3, b equals 0, and c equals 3. That gives us 6 factorial over 3 factorial, 0 factorial, 3 factorial, 1 cubed minus 2 to the power of 0, x to the power of 6, and that is 6 times 5 times 4 over 6, x to the 6, uh, there's an x to the 6 there, sorry, which equals 20x to the 6. Collecting all of those up, that gives us 64 add 480, add 360, add 20, which equals 924 as the coefficient of x to the power of 6, which is the same as uh, the quick way that we did it. So even though, of course, the quick way is quicker, that's why it's called a quick way, it only works for specific um, expressions within the power. If it was, for example, to add 3x minus 4x squared to the power of 8 or whatever, then we wouldn't be able to find a quick way of doing that but the multinomial theorem is exactly the same principle for expanding that as it is for expanding the one we just done. That's why the multinomial theorem is so useful. OK, well, I hope you found this useful. If you have, uh, please like this video and uh, subscribe to the Gressy Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.